Hello! Look at how we doing, Marcy? Says right there. This is Mike and Denise. We're here to talk about water today. I think that's what we're gonna read an article that has to do with plant-based stuff, but water is in everything. Water is in plants. A lot of times people add water when they when they cook food. Actually, any kind of cook or prepared food or processed food has water added to it. So have you ever thought about what's gonna happen if you have the wrong type of water added to it? Because I do, because I am very sensitive to that. Denise knows. So we're gonna read the article here and it's gonna tell us about all that, about what we know about that. An explanation of how consuming the proper amount of water daily can either help or hurt the body. Water is essential for human survival and it is important to ensure that the water we consume is clean and safe. Unfortunately, tap water can sometimes become contaminated with germs and chemicals that can make people sick. In this essay, We'll explore what happens inside the human body if someone consumes contaminated water, the reasons why most people are chronically dehydrated, and the effects of cooked food and substances such as caffeine and alcohol on hydration, the likely chemical contaminants found in common municipal tap water, the proper minimum level of filtration and treatment needed to remove contaminants. This is complicated. The benefits and drawbacks of consuming <laughs> distilled water. I'm just going to get on to the article. Yeah, go ahead. This is complicated. It, you, most people think it's not complicated at all, but this is one of the reasons why eating raw foods actually is way better for you than eating any kind of prepared or cooked foods because of the water. What happens inside the human body if someone consumes contaminated water? When someone consumes contaminated water, they can become sick with a variety of illnesses. The germs and chemicals that can contaminate tap water can cause diarrhea, fever, stomach pain, or feeling the need to poop even when bowels are empty. Some of the most common germs that can contaminate tap water include Cytosporium legionella, Camelobacter, <laughs> Camphobacter, Norovirus, E. coli 0157, and Rotavirus. Okay, I, actually, I don't even know if they mentioned this article, but one of the other issues is all the chemicals that they pour into the water to get to keep those things from happening. I don't even know if they address that here. Chlorine. It's, it's bad. Chlorine. Yeah, well, okay. Well, chloride, whatever, chlorine, what, happened, what happened the last time you drank pool water? I mean, let's, let's put it this way. It's not good for you at all. These germs can cause a range of illnesses from mild stomach upset to more serious conditions like kidney failure and meningitis. Are most people chronically dehydrated and what are the main reasons for this? Many people are chronically dehydrated and there are several reasons for this. One of the main reasons is that people do not drink enough water. The human body is made up of about 60% water and it needs water to function properly. When people do not drink enough water, they can become dehydrated, which can cause a range of symptoms, including fatigue, headaches, and dizziness. Another reason why people are chronically dehydrated is that they consume too many dehydrating substances like caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine is a diuretic, which means that it can cause the body to lose water through urine. Alcohol also has a dehydrating effect on the body, which is why people often feel thirsty after drinking alcohol. Uh, cooked food is not dehydrating in and of itself, but it can be less. Uh, I clicked on it. Okay. Uh, Sorry, so Denise, um, mm -hmm. she, they mention alcohol and caffeine. Alcohol, everybody knows you go to the bathroom nonstop. Same thing when you drink caffeine, you start to go to the bathroom. Like literally, your body starts evacuating the water, and that's definitely a problem. This is one of the reasons why so many people are chronically dehydrated just because of caffeine and alcohol, even if it was just only those reasons. What did you click on to get back to your articles? Me, click uh, me, and then scroll down. Yeah, so um, these, by the way, the text for this stuff is on either my own personal Facebook timeline or our YouTube channel at aplantbaseddiet.org. If you look around when this video is released, you'll also see a post that has the entire text of this article that you can read and all the sources that were cited too. You found it? Mm -hmm. um, getting there she's getting there okay another thing i want to talk about like i've mentioned is what's in tap water we probably need to do an article about that because it's it totally skipped over it which i had a feeling it was going to and we need to focus on what chemical additives are in tap water because it is something in my opinion you never want to drink 
just because of the chemical additive, not because of something that it could do to your body because it has like a bacteria in it. Because that rarely, if ever, happens. All right. Okay, Denise people, is back. People drink water after drinking alcohol because it makes you feel thirsty. It doesn't say why. But other substances like salt and sugar can also be dehydrating. Oh, yeah, salt, yes. As they cause the body to lose water. I didn't know sugar causes dehydration. Uh, I would say sugar is going to cause dehydration because they're probably talking about processed sugar. And what happens to make processed sugar? You take all the fiber out and you take all the moisture out, right? It's just cubes. It's just solid cubes that are left. So it's going to be dehydrating. Anytime you take the water and the fiber out, dehydrating. What are the likely chemical contaminants found in common municipal tap water and how can they harm the body? There are several oh, there we chemical go. contaminants I mean, that I can be found this. in common municipal tap water, including estrogen and other Whoa. hormones microplastics and endocrine Yikes. disrupting chemicals estrogen and other hormones can be found in tap water due to the presence of birth control pills oh and other gosh. medications <laughs> that contain hormones these hormones can have a range of effects on the body including disrupting the endocrine system and causing reproductive problems just from drinking tap water no problem right <laughs> oh my, my gosh Microplastics are small pieces of plastic that can be found in tap water due to the disposal of, of plastic waste into the environment. These microplastics can have a range of effects on the body, including disrupting the endocrine system and causing reproductive problems. Uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals are chemicals that can interfere with the endocrine system and cause a range of health problems, including reproductive problems, developmental problems, and cancer. These chemicals can be found in tap water due to the presence of pesticides, herbicides, and other chemicals that are used in agriculture and industry. What is the proper minimum level of filtration and treatment needed to remove contaminants? There we go. Um, it depends on the specific contaminants that are present. However, in general, a water filtration system that includes activated carbon and reverse osmosis is effective at removing a wide range of contaminants, including mm. hormones, microplastics, and endocrine Okay, let's disruptors. mention reverse osmosis is a very expensive to maintain and complicated system. Most yeah. people don't have it, and even if yeah. they do have it, they're probably not going to maintain it properly, so don't be overconfident here. Yeah. What's the other way? Uh, active carbon, active carbon yeah, and reverse osmosis. But yeah. active carbon does almost nothing. I'm just telling you. Active carbon is nice to have in addition to reverse osmosis. Yeah. It's important to choose a water filtration system that is certified by a reputable organization like NSF International to ensure that it is effective at removing contaminants. Uh, is Consuming distilled water a good way to avoid contaminants in water, especially if all vitamins and minerals needed by the body are sourced from eating a variety of whole organic plants. <laughs> consuming distilled water can be an effective way to avoid contaminants in water as the distillation process removes most contaminants from water. However, distilled water does not contain the minerals that are found in natural water sources and can be less hydrating than natural water sources. Yeah, I mean, I would not expect it to be hydrating. I would expect it to be hydrophobic. If you know the difference between hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Uh, is that a deer or something? Yes. And then the other thing is, um, you know, you're not going to get the minerals. You got to eat a balanced diet, but this is for cooking. If you're going to cook food, you want totally pure water because usually, in my case, I'm cooking with contaminants of some kind. Either it's the crap that's in the water that shouldn't be there, like they talked about early in the article, or it's the chemicals that are in there to get rid of the crap that's in the water, or it's inadequate filtration. It's important to ensure that the body is getting all of the vitamins and minerals that it needs from a variety of whole organic plants, as distilled water does not provide these nutrients. What? The spring water? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, it does. That's what I'm saying. All spring water, yes, spring water, like from a mountain spring. It's flowing through the rocks. It's got all the minerals. It's got not not all the minerals. No, it's got it right. It has some minerals in it. Okay, yeah, as opposed yeah, to none. It's, it's sodium. Yeah, but it's actually loaded. No, no, way more than that. It's got lots of minerals in it. Okay, whether they're bioavailable, not uh, not necessarily. 
but they're there and they, your body has a chance to get them. If you're having super, super filtered water, like, like distilled and, and purified, you're, it's all removed. That's like the big thing. People say, oh, you shouldn't have this because that's what they're saying. But if you have a balanced diet, you're getting what you need anyway. If your diet is so imbalanced that you need to get minerals from water, then there's, a, there's other things that are bigger that are going on. Else yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Why does purchasing water in plastic containers contaminate the water with microplastics and how do these destroy human health? Purchasing water in plastic containers can contaminate the water with microplastics as the plastic can break down over time and release small pieces of plastic into the water. These microplastics have a range of effects on human health, including disrupting the endocrine system and causing reproductive problems. It is important. Excuse me, my throat's all dry. Yeah, we should have. I should have brought the water bottle. We forgot. We were out of practice already. It's important to avoid purchasing water in plastic containers and, and instead choose a water filtration system that is effective at removing contaminants. Okay, and that you maintain properly. So we, we probably need to get one, but you have to maintain it. It is a lot of work. Otherwise, it's a false sense of security. Do restaurants and food entities and coffee shops provide the proper level no. of pure water in no. their food products to keep people from getting sick from the water? Just assume that you're going to get sick from the water when you go out to eat. It's difficult that's, that's, to that's say, say whether restaurants, <laughs> food entities, and coffee shops provide the proper level of pure water in their food products to keep people from getting sick from the water. However, it's important to ensure that the water used in food products is clean and safe to drink. This can be achieved by using a water filtration system that is effective at removing contaminants. Is even the purest form of treated and filtered water or flowing pure high mountain Spider spring water as bioavailable to the body as water naturally occurring inside the plants, especially fruits? Even the purest form of treated and filtered water or flowing pure high mountain spring water may not be as bioavailable. Watch the yeah, ditch. I lost it here. <laughs> he stepped right in it one time. <laughs> may not be as bioavailably bioavailable to the body as water naturally occurring inside plants, especially fruits. This is because the water inside plants is structured differently than the water found in natural water sources. Isn't that cool? That's why you should eat fruit. The water inside plants is structured differently. It's better absorbed by the body, while the water found in natural water sources may not be as easily absorbed. In conclusion, it's important to ensure that the water we consume is clean and safe. That's uh, it? I did hear Boom. that Starbucks has reverse yeah. osmosis. That's what you said that. <laughs> they say they do. Do they maintain their systems? Do all that have it? Does all have it? The, and they're all getting their water from different sources. I mean, in theory, if they have reverse osmosis, that's what you're, you're sure they have reverse osmosis at all I Starbucks? On website. <laughs> well, in theory, if it's working right, it should be okay. But I would say most places aren't going to make that claim, right? I mean, I've never heard that claim anywhere else. If you've heard, no. let us know below, like what restaurants, chains, or whatever say they use reverse osmosis, because that would be great, actually, if we had a list of those. That's why the coffee's so good. That's why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, because it doesn't taste like chemicals out of the tap, yeah. like a lot of these yeah. places. Yeah, I used to make a pot of coffee at home with tap water. It was oh my so gosh. gross. No wonder I didn't like it. I can't, yeah, I can't even cook with the water, not even boil pasta. I have to use... Uh, distilled water is what I use. Yeah. So let us know what you guys use. Have you ever thought about any of these concepts before? And if you got a, kind of got new questions or enlightened by some things, let us know in the comments. Also give us a thumbs up for watching or for just helping the algorithm and be sure to subscribe too. If you don't subscribe already, we're going to finish our walk and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.